Now, any organisation that relies on fundraising to keep going has been hit so hard this year. Major events have all been cancelled, income has been cut dramatically. So it's more important than ever to receive support from your local community. And it is indeed thanks to that support that a Nottinghamshire school farm has been saved. Sarah Teal has more in tonight's Yes, Let's Make a Difference. Yes, we have a wonderful example tonight of how the local community has come together to protect a unique and valuable resource for children. Ed Walton Primary is lucky enough to have a school farm on site. It's been there since the 1950s and the children are responsible for running it and looking after the menagerie of alpacas, pigs, goats, hens, rabbits and guinea pigs. We get to look after the animals and we get to have a cuddle with one of them after. The farm is so, such a great opportunity for responsibility because not a lot of other schools have a farm and it's really nice to be able to um, ha get eggs from the chickens, to have pygmy goats on the way around the school. It's an integral part of the school and every single child loves it. Uh, so many of the parents say they want to come to this school because of the farm. Um, the benefits that animals give to children is widely, widely known, it's widely researched. Especially if you get children that get more emotional and stuff, the animals help calm them down, they're out of the classroom and they can learn through the farm. The farm has been hit incredibly hard by Covid. Fundraising events had to be cancelled, but then in stepped several community organisations with financial support to keep the farm going. Both of our children came here, we love this place, the farm is so important to us. Part of the charity's objective is to promote and further education, so this just works brilliantly for us to be able to give to. Great cause, amazing for people's mental health, especially at this time. A lot of the children that play for our team go to this school, so it's really important to support them. My children also go here and I've been involved in the farm, it's fantastic, so thumbs up, let's keep it going. The donations mean the school can now start work on building a new agricultural resource centre at the farm. It means absolutely everything. There was a point when we were worried we weren't even going to be able to feed the animals for through the winter and get the hay and straw in because we just had no money coming in. We rely so much on those big events. So for people like the Ed Walton Cavaliers, um, the Rushcliffe Residents Association and the Rock Church to donate so much, along with every other, all the local families, we've had ex-pupils that say, oh, we came here 30 years ago and it meant so much to us that here's some money. We, we would never want to see it shut down. It just means the world completely because if we didn't have them, we, we wouldn't be able to have these animals. And now to have gone surpassed that and um, we're actually able to develop the farm further rather than just scraping it through it just means everything it's incredible wonderful and we'd love you to email us at emt at bbc.co.uk if we should feature a project or unsung hero or make a difference yeah, let us know. A lovely fun. We were all riveted to that, actually. It was so sweet, wasn't it? I'd have loved to have gone to that school, Annie. 